Pat's Two Cents, reading an article that our sister Mariel sent us. And I want you to hear this. This is a straight direction. This is a compass telling you what time we're in. We are in the last days, y'all. You can't play around with this. You keep watching what's going on. When you get to the point where you have no choice and your freedoms have been taken away left and right, you know our backs are up against the wall and it's time for Jesus to bust through those clouds. Listen to this article. This is happening right now, right under our noses. Dealing with the mandatory vaccines. San Diego, KGTV, as drug makers race to develop a vaccine against the coronavirus, several legal questions are emerging. Could the government require people to get it? Could people who refuse to roll up their sleeves get banned from stores or lose their jobs? The short answer is yes. According to Dove Fox, a law professor and director of the Center for Health Law Policy and Bioethics at the University of San Diego, states can compel vaccinations in more or less intrusive ways. He said in an interview, they can limit access to schools or services or jobs if people don't get vaccinated. They could force them to pay a fine or even lock them up in jail. Fox noted authorities in the United States have never attempted to jail people for refusing vaccinations, but other countries like France have adopted the aggressive tactic. The legal precedent dates back to 1905 and a landmark U.S. Supreme Court case, Jacobson versus Massachusetts. The court ruled Massachusetts had the authority to find people who refused vaccinations for smallpox. That case formed the legal basis for vaccine requirements at schools and has been upheld in subsequent decisions. Courts have found that when medical necessity requires it, the public health outweighs the individual rights and liberties at stake, Fox said. 2019, New York City passed an ordinance that fined people who refused a measles vaccination. That said, recent protests over face coverings show there could be significant backlash to a vaccine mandate. Fox said, just because states have the power to do it doesn't mean it's the best public policy, he added. Although states would have the authority to mandate vaccinations, there's more doubt about whether Congress could enact a federal requirement. For those of you skeptics who don't believe we're living in the last days, listen to what the Bible says in Revelations verse 16 through 18 according to what I just read here on this article. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. That equates to six, six, six.